Hello. Ser chula, buenas <laughs> noches. Hello. Good night. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? <laughs> Me alegra verla mucho. I know. Me too. <laughs> Very good. Hi, I have Flor. Hi, Flor. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Hi, coach. How are you? Hi. Good, very good. Hi, Noe. Hi, Ellie. Eric. Hi, Hi teacher. Good evening. Hello, Francisco. I have William, Diego, Walter, Walter, Manuel, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Evelyn. Very good. Who else do I have here? Oh, my goodness. I have a lot of people today. Very good. All right. Let me see. Who's new in this class, guys? Who's new? Eric. Hi. Barca. I'm new. Erika Barca is new. Manuel, are you new? Who else is new? William? Yes. All right. Anybody else is new? No? All right. Very good. Okay, guys. So my name is Jessica Cerritos for the one that don't know me. All right. Most of you uh, know me. All right. Uh, so I'm going to be with you for this free advanced course two. All right. Very good. So welcome. All right. Very good. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, Eric, because you are yeah. like joining the classes, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, Eric, please? Okay. Uh, my name is Eric and I am 34 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, I was studying the last year I was studying, I was studying at D4CC. Okay. But I think I, I finished my, my course and mm -hmm. but I want to continue through my English. Before, All right. You need to uh, practice a little bit more. Yeah, I okay. need more practice. I okay. need to know about more vocabulary. I'm right. general vocabulary. Okay, very good. Thank you, Eric. Very good. Well, Francisco, are you new? Yes. All right. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, Francisco? Okay. My name is Francisco. Uh, I am. Uh, I am a business administrator. Okay. I am 48 years old mm -hmm. and I like to, to stay with you in this right. class. Very good. Thank you. Welcome. Very good. All right. Uh, William Rodriguez, you're new also, right? Yes. All right. Tell us about uh, yourself. Hello, good evening. My name is Williams. I was studying uh, before. So uh, right now I, I am going to study the year. So uh, I was working, uh, I'm working for Enlace okay. uh, from um, 2013. Okay. So right now, yeah. Until now, all right, very good. Okay, yeah. thank you, Williams, very good, very good. good. Very good. Uh, Diego Galicia, are you new to the course? Yes, teacher, I'm new. All right, can you tell us about yourself, Diego? Yeah, uh, of course. Uh, first of all, good night to everybody. Good evening, yes. And it's really good to stay here. And my case, my name is Diego. I'm 21 years old. Okay. I work as an accountant. Okay. And so I like the English so much. And I hope to, to improve and learn a lot of things. All right, very good. Thank you. Nice, very good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Cecilia Mendez, you're new? Cecilia, your microphone is off. Just click on the little icon. Excellent, yes. Thank okay. you. Very good night, good everybody. Evening. Yes, good evening. Uh, my name is Cecilia Mendez. Um, I, I, um, I am a, I work in a UTEC. Okay. I like, uh, I like uh, English. Um, that's that's so. That's it. All right. Very good. Nice. All right. Very good. Anybody else that's new in the class that wants to uh, say like something about themselves? Okay. Well, so, yes, Manuel. Okay. Uh, good evening, what all? Good evening. Yes. Uh, uh, my name is Manuel Arias. I I am twenty four years old. Okay. And actually, I studied a uh, four year the bachelor degree in English. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. and for me, this course is an opportunity to improve. Of my course. Study. Yeah. Nice. All right. Manuel, yeah. where do you study? Which university? I study in the Universidad de Oriente, San Miguel. Ah, okay. San Miguel. All right. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. You're from all 
All right, very good. <laughs> very good. Anybody else? A new student? No more Me, new students? Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, Evelyn? Hey, good evening. My name, yes, my name is Evelyn Rodriguez. I'm uh, 43 years old. Okay. Right now, I'm on a That's why I took the opportunity to improve my English and maybe I get another job. All right, very good. All right, perfect, very good. Okay, all right, very good guys. Uh, for the ones that are just logging in, my name is Jessica Cerritos for the ones that don't know me. So I'm gonna be with you for this free advanced uh, module too. All right, so welcome. All right, and it's so very, very, very nice to see all of the, the students that have been with me for a long time already. So it's a very nice pleasure to see you guys, all right? We're still missing some people that um, they have been for a long time, but I guess it's just the first class. So maybe tomorrow they will join. All right, very good. So guys, uh, do you have access to the platform? Everybody, this is a, like a question for everybody. Do you have access to the platform already? Yes. Yes, ma'am. All right. Okay. Yes, I see. Yes. All right, very good. Now, yes. uh, the second question. Have you checked the platform yeah. already? Oh, yeah, so, so. Yes. <laughs> no, All right. yes. so yet? Okay, that's okay. All right. So for the ones that haven't done it, I do invite for you to do it, maybe like after class or tomorrow during the day. The idea is this, guys. I mean, for the ones that are new, for the ones that are like have been with me for a long time, you know how I work with my classes. But for the ones that are new, I don't, okay? So one of, uh, to begin with, what I need you guys to know and to remember is that the platform, is, okay, you have to write, you have to do the exercises. If you're with me every single night, but you do not do the exercises on the platform, you will not be able to enroll on the next level, all right? Being here with me tonight or every day from Monday uh, through Thursday is a plus for you. This being with me is not mandatory, okay? But working on the platform and making the exercises, that is mandatory. You need to complete it, okay? If you are enrolled, you're with me here, that means that you are like comprometido very much to finish the platform, okay? You have no excuse, I'm sorry, all right? If you don't want to see me, that's okay, all right? But you have to do the exercises, all right? Like <laughs> being in class with me, it's okay if you don't want to see me, but the exercises, you have to write them, okay? You have to do them. Okay. Uh, you need an eight of, that's the passing grade is an eight. Make sure that you guys work on, on the uh, exercises. The platform is designed for you to, continue like on the exercises and to continue passing the courses. What I mean is this, if you have done an exercise and you got a six, all right, and after the class you feel ready or you feel more prepared or you understood better, you can always go back and do the exercise again. Is that cheating? No, that's not cheating. It's giving you the access or to be friendly enough for you to keep on doing it or to keep on like improving yourselves. We don't want people frustrated here, all right? We want you guys to feel comfortable, all right? And once you're comfortable enough with the exercise, then you say, oh, okay, now I understand it better and I can do it again. And then you can like maybe get an eight or maybe get a nine or maybe get a 10, all right? So you can always go back to the exercises and redo them if you feel quick, all right? Um, what else? Uh, that's about the platform, okay? Remember that the platform, if you have looked at it at least, it's designed, we have five sections, but we only have four weeks of classes, okay? That means that we work on a section and a little bit per week, okay? With me. Now, what you do in your house, remember that the platform is open 24 seven, okay? That means that you, if you have nothing to do and you cannot go to sleep at two o'clock in the morning, work on the platform it's open all right so you have no excuse you cannot say ah teacher is not open it is open all the time 24 7 okay so uh if you are not really working because of the quarantine then you can do your platform okay you have no excuse now all right 
Um, what else? Let's see. Uh, that's about the platform. Right. You have also, you have, um, as you go on the, um, you have exercises and you have that are called knowledge checks. Those are the exercises. And you also have a midterm and a final exam. Everything that is on the platform needs to be like done. Like you have to do it and everything is graded on the platform. Okay. As soon as you finish it, you submit your worksheet or you submit your exercise and you get a grade in the, uh, on that very moment. Okay. You don't have to wait for me to check it. You do it. Okay. Now on the videos, usually the teacher that is on the videos tells you to write something under on the discussion box, please do it because I do check it and I see that if you guys are practicing or not, that's another space that we give you so you can practice your exercises, okay? So uh, those um, exercises that are being asked from you from the teacher on the videos, they are not like mandatory, but do them, okay? Because that's another way to practice. And I can always check and I can say, oh, Jose Rodriguez, you didn't write a proper sentence, for example, all right? Or yeah, you did very well, Noemi, or things like that, all right? So please do those. Uh, what else? Uh, that's pretty much it about the platform. Now, I already said this, but I'm gonna say it again. Uh, remember that being here with me tonight is not like an obligation for you to be here, all right? But usually, like students are with me every single night because what I do is this. Whatever topic is on the platform is the same topic I, I will explain to you here, all right? So in case that the platform was not enough, that the video didn't explain everything, it's impossible to explain everything in a short video, all right? So that's the idea. You see that you watch the video and you come to class with me and I reinforce and I give you more explanation and I give you more examples. But again, it's not mandatory for you okay. to be with me here. Now, all the classes, I always record the classes and it's because on the very next morning, I upload the videos on the YouTube channel of Inglés Corporativo. You have to look for our name of Pre Avanzado Dos, right? And you click on it. And if you didn't have a chance to be in class, but you wanna watch the class, you can always go ahead and watch it, okay? So it's there for you to watch as many times as you want to, all right? Usually, I, yes. well, not usually, I always have a PPT for every class so I can explain things better and I have worksheets for you. Usually, if you ask me, Jessica, can you send this PPT to the WhatsApp group? I usually send it. I say usually because sometimes I forget. I have like other groups, but just remind me, all right, Jessica, you forgot to send the PPT. We have a special student, which is not here right now. Elmer is always asking me to send the PPT. I can always do it for everybody, all right? Um, what else? Uh, that's pretty much with those and with that. And then with the class itself, I need you guys to be like behaving like you're behaving right now, all right? Pretty much all the microphones are off and that's very good because I don't hear people screaming or people watching the soap opera at your house or the car you know passing by or the motorcycle or people saying do you want tortillas i mean we don't we, we don't want to hear that all right so usually you put your microphones off just like you're doing right now but of course if i ask a question then you unmute yourself and you can participate or if you want to say something you just open your microphone and you're free to say something or to ask any question you want to all right if you know that by like if you're by yourself it's okay you can open your microphone all right but if you have i don't know babies around, there are lots of doggies around and you think that it's going to be very noisy around you then you can always put your microphones off but then again, you can always turn them back on, all right? So feel free to do it as many times as you need to, all right? And then as the class goes on, I'm about to finish, we have, um, I send you to like, it's called breakout rooms. Those are small groups that you can practice with other classmates. And I always go and I always check how you guys are doing, all right? So whenever, I will always let you know when we have a, a mini group or a breakout uh, group, and then you can accept the invitation and go to your groups, okay? 
Okay. I know I've talked a lot, but this is the first class and I have new students, so I need to like guide them through the whole thing. Do you have questions, especially for the new students? Do you have questions? No questions? No question. For me, no wow. questions. Wow, guys, you're like super good students. <laughs> nice to see you, Normita. Nice to see you. Also, very good. I'm glad you're in class with us. Walter, hello. Very good. All right. And for the rest of you guys, um, it's very nice to have you in class. All right. So hopefully we're going to get along really well like we have always done it. All right. So let's begin. All right. So because you have no questions, uh, the first topic on the platform is uh, talking about problems. Okay. So if you have not seen it, I'm not going to show it to you because that's your job. You have to look at the platform and before the class, so you know what we're talking about. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to share my presentation, which is not very long because it's not very complicated and you guys are like pre advanced too. So you're speaking English already. All right. Very good. So we're talking about how to report a problem. All right. Like you would like normal problems, like something broke, like, uh, Someone spilled coffee on my blouse, all right? Technical things, but things that happen in real life, all right? So we use past participles as adjectives, okay? Let's see, Francisco, can you tell me one past participle of any verb you want? Just tell me one past participle. Francisco? Hi. Hi, can you just mention one past participle verb? Uh, known. Okay, very good, known, yes, very good. Let's see, um, Eric, can you give me another one, please? Yeah, become. All right, very good, nice, all right, very good. Let's see, Cecilia, give me another one. You can turn on your mic, uh, Cecilia. Be begun. All right, very good. Okay, very good, guys. So, you know, yes, thank you. You know these um, past participles, all right? So, what we're going to talk about right now and how we're going to use them is we're going to talk about these past participles, but, but as adjectives, okay? So, in this case, they are not going to be verbs. They're going to be adjectives. Of course, we cannot use all of the verbs that are that exist on past participles as adjectives only the ones that are suited or needed for these kind of sentences okay so here we have for example adjectives let's see flor can you read this for me please adjectives flor are you there all right evelyn okay, okay thank you, flor. teacher yes, yes. okay Adjectives, adjectives that are form from English past participle in English past participle usually and in and and they are frequently used with the verb be to describe people, place, and things. For mm -hmm. uh, example, the Article is published. Article is publicado. It's, okay, very good. All right, thank you, Flor. All right, so it says adjectives that are formed. College. Yes. College. College. Right. So it says adjectives that are formed from verbs are called past participles. Okay. In English, past participles usually end in ed. All right, and they uh, are frequently used with the verb to be, to describe people, places, and things. And we have example number one. The article is published. All right, published is, uh, of course, it's a past participle verb in one point of a time, but right now we're using it as an adjective. If you notice, this um, kind of adjectives formed by past participles they go at the end of your sentence, they finish in ed, and they are followed by the verb be. Yeah? So you have the article is published. All right, because it's only one article, we use is, 
All right, and we use published. It is not a verb, it's an adjective, okay? Do you have questions so far? Mm. Noe, Noe, questions? I see your face, Noe. <laughs> um, no, no, no teacher. Okay. All right, okay, let's go on here. We Thank can you. Add, all right, we can go on here. All right, past participle. Rodriguez, can you read it, please? Yes. Uh, past participles are frequently used with the verb star to describe the result of an action. The foremost past participle of verbs in Spanish, you drop the ending of the mm -hmm. infinitive, yeah. R, R, U, and have, have. <laughs> to the stem for R verbs or ido to the stem for R, E, R verbs. For E, R and I. I R verbs. Okay, don't worry about so much about Spanish. We don't really know. I mean, we don't really care right now about Spanish, but this is like also good for you to understand yeah. it. All right. It says past participles are frequently used with the verb estar, so the verb to be. All right. That's why you say the article is published. All right. And it says to for most participle verbs in Spanish, you drop the ending of the infinitive. Remember, we say reír. All right. Or Licar would be the infinitive, and then when we switch it to adjective forming by past participle, we say publicado, all right? Yes, that's the whole thing here. How do you say that el artículo está publicado, the article is published, all right? Here we yes. have, all right, okay. So here we have, guys, this is, I'm going to show you this right now. Just let me get it here. Let me go get it right now because I have it, I have it here. You know what I'm going to do right now? This is what I'm going to do. Hold on. Just give me one quick second. And Noemi, where is Elmer? Do you know? I don't know. With Elmer. <laughs> He's probably. No, 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 right. In the, in the, I know. In he the hasn't. Group. No, no. I don't know. Is everybody, by the way, joined? Has everybody joined the WhatsApp group already? For the ones that are new, guys, have you like joined uh, the? Yes. You have the group. Yeah. The WhatsApp. Yep. Okay. Yes. 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 Um, yeah. Hi there. Uh, I'm new. All right. What's your name? Um, my name is jo Juan Arevalo. Uh -huh. yeah, I'm new and, and yeah, I, I I came late, so I couldn't hear the, the, the explanation. All right. Uh, okay. About the, about the platform, but um, um, I, I don't know. You say you would um, pause the, the, the video. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and and the WhatsApp group. Yeah. Um. Okay. So I gotta check it later. Yeah, right. Um, as soon as we finish the class one, I'm going to send the information that I usually use in classes, okay? Um, okay, thank you. All right, very good. Okay, so I, I do hope you can see this. Can you see the describing problems one? Can you see that? Yeah. All right, okay. So uh, if you notice, let's see. Um, what do I have? Norma, can you do me a favor, Normita? Norma, Norma? All right. Or Walter, anybody? Daniel, Eli, anybody? Hola. Hi, Walter. Can you do me a favor? Can you read with past participles as adjectives, uh, Walter? Number one, the jacket. The jacket lining is torn. Okay, the jacket uh, lining is torn. Very good. What about uh, the other one, uh, Walter? The tabletop. Okay, uh, the tabletop is damaged. Okay, continue. Uh, that base is chipped. Excellent. Chipped, chipped is fine. Uh -huh. Chipped. Okay. My part, my hands are stained. Stained. Uh huh. Stained. Have some glasses are a little scratched. Scratched. Okay. Let's stop there, Walter. All, All right. right. What I want you to see, guys, because that, that's why I wanted to show you this the jacket lining is torn. Is is the uh, verb to be, and then we have in this case, torn is doesn't finish in ed, 
but it's still a past participle adjective, all right? The tabletop is damaged, it's followed by the verb be, and it finishes in ed, damaged, all right? So that's an adjective also. The vase is chipped, all right? My pants are stained. If, if I mean, if you have um, singular nouns, then you have to use is. If you have plural nouns, then you have to use are, and followed by the adjective with the past participle. Torn, damaged, chipped, stained, scratched, and in that case, the last one is leaking, and that one is always going to be in the present continuous form, but it's still a uh, adjective, all right? So this is the idea. If you look at it, the structure is like that. We usually have to use the verb be plus the um, past participle to form the adjective, to express that something is not right. Do you understand it? Uh, bas basically, in this, uh, the structure is uh, subject, right. verb to be, That's and right. uh, past participle as adjective. That's basically right. Basically, it's the structure. It is pretty much the structure. I'm just gonna um, advance the video here. It's on the platform anyhow, all right? Just give me a second. Okay. There you go, all right. So here we have it. This is exactly what you were saying. Uh, we have the structure with past participles. We have the subject, as you mentioned it. You have the verb be, in that case can be is or are. And then you have the past participle acting as an adjective, which is in this case, torn. Yeah? Yeah. To express that something is not correct or something is not right or some not right to express a problem. Yeah? So that's pretty much the structure that you need to follow. If you follow this structure, you will not be lost. Do you understand it, guys? Okay. Yeah? Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. This is what I want you to think. I'm gonna stop sharing this. I'm, I'm, go, uh, I'm gonna make groups, all right? But right now I want you to think about, write it, write it somewhere, like grab a pen, a pen or pencil and a paper, right? I want you to write number one, car, just write it, car. Number two, computer, just make sure that you, if you're not writing it, you'll remember. Number one is car. Hi, Jennifer. Hello, teacher. Nice to see you, Jennifer. And thank you. Nice Very to see good. you too. Thank you. All right, so we have uh, car is number one, computer is number two. All right, uh, let's see. Um, a, a, a mug, a cup, coffee, a cup. All right, that's number three, a cup. Number three, what? A cup, a coffee. A, bit, a cup of coffee, cup. a cup. A cup, a cup, a cup. cup, a cup. A cup. Right, okay. <laughs> very good. Number four. Uh, um, Interrupture. Yeah, all right. Number four, I want you to think about um, your um, project. A project. All right. A project that you wrote. All right. And I want you to think that was, that was number five, right? The project was number five? No, number four. Number four. four. All right, okay. You know what? Mm, okay, let, leave it like that, project. And number five, I want you to talk about um, the microwave oven. Microwave? microwave? Oven. Yeah, the microwave. All right. Now, you have okay. five things, okay? Think that these five things have a problem that you need to report, okay? For example, you can say, oh, my car is broken. Don't, now you cannot write the same one as I just thought about, okay? You have to think about another one. So I said, number one, my car is broken. Is, I'm following the structure. My car is a subject. Is is the verb be. Broken is the adjective being used uh, uh, in past participle. In that case, broken is not ed, but that's okay, it's still an adjective, okay? So now think about you, five things that happened to, for example, what happened to your computer? What happened to your microwave oven? What happened to your project that you wrote the whole night? All right, what happened to the, what else did I tell you? Uh, the cup of coffee, your favorite one, all right? 
Right now, you're going to go to your groups, okay? And together, for example, if I'm working with... Together, Jennifer, we're going to make the same sentences. Make sure that you type them so I can see them when I go to your groups. Uh, we're going to decide what happened to the car. What is the problem with the, do with the uh, uh, project? What is the project as in a script or one, right? Like a report or a document. Uh, what happened to the microwave oven, all right? I want you to, to think about the subject, the verb be, all right? And the adjective using it in past participle. You understand? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Yes. So we're gonna go back. For the ones that are new, right now I'm gonna send, I'm gonna create the groups. What I want you to do right now is I want you to click on the on accepting the invitation for the groups, okay? Make sure that you wait because sometimes we get anxious when we don't see anybody else in the group. Be, 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 you know, be, okay? You're gonna get someone in your group, okay? So right now the invitation has been sent. Click on it, please. Imelda, Noe, Selina, Diego, Flor, all right. Selina, Flor, and Imelda, are you okay? Did you receive the invitation, Imelda? Yes. All right, can you click on it so you can go to the group? Copy invitation. Just click on the invitation. Okay. Accept it so you can go to the group, so you can work with someone else. Okay. So you're going to see the full email, Gmail, or Gmail? no, no, no. Right now on the plot on the on the on the class on your screen, Imelda, mm -hmm. um, an invitation that says join a breakout room. Click on that invitation. Do you see it? Oh, breaking down. Selena, what about you? Right, very good. Selena? Hi, Selena. And my my applications, it don't it don't work. So I have a lot of problems to connect them. Hi, Magdalena. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine, how are you? You're new, right? Yeah, I'm new. All right, very good. Are you having a problem with anything, Magdalena? Yeah, I have a problem with my connection and, and the application, is it doesn't work, but, but I'm here now. All Sorry. right. Okay. No, that's okay. That's okay. All right. Do you, but you, were you here for the instructions or you need to um, listen to the instructions again? No, I, I can, I can, I couldn't hear, hear the instruction. All right. Okay. And I have to work with my partner, Walter. I'm... Yes, please. Yeah. Work with him. Okay. All right. Very good. Hi, Walter. Okay. Hi, Walter Cito, how are you? Hello, uh, teacher, uh, nice to see you. Nice again. to see you again, yes, thank you. Very much, very good. Yeah. All right, Walter, so you may help Magdiel, all right? So I'm gonna go to another group because Noemi just, the internet kick her out. So I want to, I want to help her right now. Okay. All right. Hi, Hi Eli. Hello, Eli. How are you? Are you alone, Eli? Hello. Hola. Are you alone? Yes. Pero me ya le busco pareja, no se preocupe. Forever alone. No, 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 forever alone. ¿Cómo le va con tanta clase en línea, hija? Ah, 
Ay, no, fregado, pesadísimo, estar revisando tanta cosa, tiche. Me imagino. Te juro que es mejor estar en, en el salón. Sí, sí. Yo digo, puche, que acabo de dejar tareas, las estoy revisando y al ratito ya tengo que dejar las otras y así. Y como sí. tengo trabajo, ¿verdad? Entonces, ajá, ajá, ah, pues sí, si usted la, está. En los colegios me toca más pesado todavía. No, Elita, está bien vale. en vida, hija. Quiero ver, más de mil tareas quizás semanales. Imagínese. Ay, no. Porque como en algunos grados doy dos materias. Sí. Por eso. Eli, le, está, le está tocando, Eli. Cállese. Mire de ojeras que tengo. <risa> y, y no por salir los sábados en la noche. Ah, vale, vale, porque tiene que estar en cuarentenada, niña. <risa> pues sí, por eso me duelen. Cabal. Acabo de. Mamá, Daniel va a entrar con nosotras ahorita, oye, para que trabaje con. Ay, ay, Vivo, me alegra verla, oye. Igual, teacher. Very good. Hi, Daniel. Hi. Hi, teacher. How are you, Daniel? I'm fine. Excellent. Very good. Daniel, you're going to be working with Ellie, ok? Ok, ok. Yes. Right. Teacher, yes. only a question. Yes. Uh, we have we have word in five sentences. Five sentences, yes. With the with the noun. Uh huh. Using using past participle as adjective, yes. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, remember I gave you five objects, Ellie. The car. Yes. The computer. The, computer, the microwave. The The project and the project, cup, right? Mm -hmm. project, project es como cañón. No, como pre, proyecto, como un documento que usted imagina. Ah, un proyecto, un documento. Un documento que usted escribió toda la noche y de repente se le rompió, se perdió, no sé. Okay. All right, entonces the idea is you use the subject, in this case the, the project, the verb be, and then the past participle as adjective. Okay? Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Daniel. Thanks. Hi, Ellie. How are you? I'm fine. Aquí queriendo oh, ver that... qué hacer. <laughs> Como que no tuviera nada que hacer la niña. Very good, Ellie. Pero es la que tú, Ellie. Very good. Pues sí. <laughs> Me alegra verlo, de verdad, Aquí, mucho. Este, haciendo igual, piche. Yo, yo diciendo, pues yo pasé de pinche yo no quería que la cambiaran. Y cuando vi sus videos en la plataforma, porque ahora entré en la, ajá, en la mañana ajá. para sí. darle una media chequeada, ¡ay, qué chivo! La teacher ha hecho los videos. Y, <risa> el licenciado sí que son largos, ¡uy, hermano! Que me quitan mucho tiempo. <risa> ah, bueno, qué bueno que estén los aquí. Los videos entonces. son más cortitos. Sí. Vaya, pues, lo dejo entonces. Chao. Vaya, teacher. Sí. Uh oh, is the lady. Oh, sí, oh, hello. <laughs> hello, hello teacher. teacher. Ay, Normita, qué alegre mm. tenerla. Thank you, teacher. I have a mistake, teacher. What happened, Norma? Por, por adicionarme al grupo, me salí ah, al bueno. grupo de WhatsApp. <laughs> ok. Entonces, ya no me pude volver a conectar. Pero al de WhatsApp. Al de WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Pero se puede volver a agregar, Norma. No, me pone que no. ¿En serio? Ajá, me pone que como me salí, no me puedo volver a agregar. Vaya, déjeme ver eso. Le voy a decir a los niños mañana, en la mañana, Norma. Vaya, pues, Oiga, gra gracias. Miras, si gusta, me, me escribe ahorita para que para dejarle la clase y al, ajá, y, al, y al final de la clase igual como voy a subir la, la, los ejercicios que les voy a dar otro ratito para que usted se... forma oye de acuerdo teacher gracias very good all right okay okay y ahí en, en microwave no es otro mm -hmm. verbo explore turn off Yes, but turn is past participle. Okay. Hi, guys. Uh, How are you doing? I'm fine, teacher. Yes, I'm 
we finish. You finished. Okay. Can can I hear your examples, please? Uh, my car is uh, turned off. My car is turned off. Okay. Oh God, turned off. Um, yeah. Another is my car is uh, scratched. Scratched. Yes, I know, and I hate that when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. Very good sentence. All right. Another one. Uh, my computer is infected. Infected. My computer is uh, broken. It's broken. Very good. It's infected with a virus. All right. Very good. Uh huh. Another one. Is Jose with uh, the cup table? of coffee is spilled <laughs> over the table? The cup of coffee is spilled over. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Fine. Uh huh. Anything else, David or Jose? What? Jose. Uh, I entered late to the class. Uh, to be honest, I couldn't understand well was uh, mm. the sentence. Okay. Was is uh, using a past participle. Yes, we're using the past participle of some verbs, all right, but they are acting not as a verb, but they are acting as an adjective, all right, because they are, they are describing how the car is or how the computer is, all right? So in that case, for example, your uh, classmates, they said, uh, my car is scratched, all right? So you have, my car is a subject, all right? Then you have the verb be, is, and then you need to use, in this case, the past participle of the verb is scratch with ed, because it's the past participle, scratched, but it's not acting as a verb, it's acting as an adjective. Okay. All right? So, for example, you can say my lamp is, or my, I don't know, my light is burnt, all right? Like it's just not functioning anymore, all right? Uh, yeah. The micro, the microwave is burnt. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The microwave is burnt, all right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And the project is damaged. The project is damaged, all right. Oh no, all right. Oh, and, and you spend the whole night writing on it. Yeah? Yes. All right, very good. Okay, so I'm gonna go to another um, group and, and check, all right? We're gonna soon, okay? Okay. Thank you. Hello, Jose. Hi, teach. My car is dirtied, all right. But dirty is already an adjective. It's not a verb. It's not a verb. Uh -huh. You can say my car is dirty and that's okay. All right. But in this case, you're not using it as a like past participle as adjective. Number two is correct. Ah. My computer or the computer is ruined. Ruin is a verb. All right. But in this case, we're using it as an adjective, which is okay. Number two is fine. The cup of coffee is broken. All right, very good. The project of graduation is delayed. Very nice. The microwave oven is what? What happened to the microwave oven, Imelda? <laughs> um, yes. Is burned. Thank you all. Wow. It's burned. Mm -hmm. Burned. Uh -huh. burned. All right. So in this case, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to describe a problem with one of these things that I already gave you. All right. For example, you say you go to the store and you say, listen, I just bought this microwave and it's burned is not working, all right? Or for example, you have, you have a car and you parked it outside the, um, your neighbor and then you say, oh no, my car is scratched, all right? And it wasn't like that, all right? Someone hit it, all right? And it made an, a, a car, all right? Yeah? Okay. Okay, okay very good. Okay, we're, uh, we're coming back soon. Just let me... Um, let me check like two more groups and we just finished the one that 
Change number one, email that Jose, please. Okay. Ahorita. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, Francisco. Hi, Hi, how are you? Fine. Are you finished? Yes. 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 Can I listen to your sentences, please? Okay. okay. Uh, the first one, uh, my car uh, doesn't work because the the so because it's broken. My computer, right. uh, my computer. I have problems with my computer because the monitor is frozen. Ah, oh, nice. All right. Very good, Evelyn. Uh, I have an accident with my cup of coffee, and my cup is broken. Okay. Uh, my project doesn't work because the I think the light is burned. Burned. It's burned. It's burned. All right. Very good. And uh, my my microwave. My I'm sorry. My microwave. It doesn't work because the plate is broken. All right. Very good. Nice. Good. Good job, guys. Very good. All right. Okay. So we're gonna go back right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna share with you a, a short dialogue so we can uh, just look at it right now and read it over. Okay. 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 Sorry, uh, we're done here. I'm gonna show you this before we go. All right, we have this um, um, conversation here. Let's see, um, I need two volunteers. I need letter A and letter B, two volunteers, please. All right. Me? Me, teacher. All right, very good. So Eric and Manuel, all right. Okay, uh, A or B? It doesn't matter. No. Okay. okay. You may start reading. Oh, Eric, you may start reading, Eric. Okay. Hello, Hawaiian restaurant. How may I help you? Yes, I would like to come to complain. I ordered Hawaii beef stew, but I received Hawaii packs. Uh, I want this to be replaced immediately. 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 Very yeah. good. I'm sorry, sir. But the delivery service only until midnight. If that is so, what can we do about this? Sir, please keep the receipt. We will repay we will repay you tomorrow. Sorry for the inconvenience. 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 Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay, I don't have any choice. All right, very good. Thank you guys. Very good. Okay. So it says, I would like to complain. I ordered Hawaiian beef stew, but I received Hawaiian pasta. I want this to be replaced immediately, all right? So to be replaced is also like, you know, we're using that. So they're talking something right, okay? So here we have, if we go on, uh, let's see. Selena, common complaints. Can you read this, please? Restaurant. Selena Mendez? I oh, know Cecilia, I'm sorry. Cecilia Mendez, can you read this, please? Cecilia, your microphone is off. Okay. Uh, okay. Common complaints. Restaurant overcooked, undercooked food. All right, overcooked. 
an undercooked food. Do you understand what it means, guys, with overcooked? Overcooked? Yeah, do you under everybody yeah. do you understand the meaning of overcooked? Yeah. No, yeah. I think oh, almost burnt. Yeah, almost burnt. All almost right. Burnt, yeah. And okay. undercooked is what? The opposite. The up, yeah. It's like, yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, very good. <laughs> what about food store? Continue. Yeah, please. Cecilia, can you continue, please? Food stores. Food stores. You discovered that the milk you bought has already gone sour. Sour, all right? It's like, ugh, yucky, all right? All right, so when you talk about food also, all right, very good. Then we have Manuel Arias, can you read about hospital? Okay, hospital. Waiting a long time for the doctor's appointment. All right, very good, okay. Magdiel, can you talk about, can you read the other one? Taxes, taxis. Okay, taxis, uh, over, overcharging. Overcharging, yes, overcharging, all right, very good. So usually we have complaints about these things, all right, like when you go to a restaurant and you say, excuse me, my beef stew is like undercooked, all right, or I'm sorry, I bought this milk and it's gone sour, Already, yes, that like Bencida, all right, very good. Or you say, oh, he's overcharging um, the price, the, the Uber guy, all right? He's like charging $10 and he's supposed to only charge three. All right, so those are complaints that we usually have, all right? In this case, it's spoiled milk. All right, you understand the word is spoiled milk, guys? Do you understand spoiled milk? It's like, eee. Is that when you drink cortada, the milk, leche, ah, cortada, arruinada, ya, uh, you don't like that milk, all right? Ya casi que requesón. <laughs> all right, very good. Or chipped glass. You see this little thing here, chipped. All right, chipped. está como, como yeah. astillada. Right. Astillado. Astillado. Chipped glass, yes, very good. All right. So you say, oh no, the glass is chipped. Oh no, the, 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 the milk is spoiled. All right? When you say the milk is spoiled, it's arruinan, or la chocolatina, or the yogurt, or the, I don't know, the juice or something. All right? Very good. All right. Here we have describing problems. It says, using past participles as adjectives, the tablecloth is torn. You understand what torn is? No? All right, for example, yeah. if I do, mm, if I have this page and I do this, I cannot do this right now. I torn it. It's like I make a cut on it. Or maybe the, my blouse, right? Someone can just go like, like if you pull my blouse, it can be torn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah, all right, very good. Now, you cannot, for example, you cannot say if I, um, you know what? If I do this here, I cannot say my paper is broken. I say my paper is torn. Right? Okay. But these, these can be broken. The jar, right? Yes, the jar is broken, but not a receipt. Más que de la luz. All right? So you cannot do that, all right? So you, when you, talk, <laughs> you don't have to pay it. I know, eh? For three months. <laughs> Like right. a ripper. Right. When you talk about clothing or you talk about paper, you say torn. When you talk about okay. glass, you say broken. Okay. okay. It is like a little bit different, okay? Or the window, the window here, the window is broken, all right? You don't say the window is torn. You say the window is broken, all right? Yes. Very good, okay. Okay, very good. Do you have questions about, we're gonna keep on practicing tomorrow with the other, because tomorrow we're going to see this, the same topic, but we're not gonna use adjectives. We're going to use nouns, all right? A little bit different, but the meaning is the same. All right, sometimes you wanna say, uh, my blouse is stained, or you wanna say, I have a stain in, a blou in my blouse. It's the same thing, but you use, or as adjectives, or as nouns, okay? Yes. All right, guys, very good. Do you have any questions?
No questions? No. No, so far so good. No. So far so good. Very good. Thanks, All right. You. Very good. All right. I know that for some of you that are new, like you have to get to the rhythm of this. All right. But it's okay. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's not so difficult and we always go to the groups and we practice. Okay. And then I also have, I always have a PPT that I share with you. So the explanation can be a little bit deeper. All right. So I, tomorrow, I guys, question. yes, what's your question, Josue? Uh, I don't know if this can be done. Because, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think it's a little late, 10 p.m. Um, mm -hmm. See if, if I can join, like, an earlier group. Ah, you know I what, Josue? You would, the schedule. you would need to talk to the admin people, to the administ uh, administrators, because that one I cannot really tell you, because you were enrolled at this hour all mm -hmm. right from nine to ten but you can uh contact um jonathan all right the, he's the one that has been sending all the email to you and then just tell him if there is any possibility but i cannot really give you an answer for that because that's like right. administrative thing all right all right all right very good all thank, right thank you. yeah you're very welcome all right guys so thank you so much for being in class with me today and I do welcome everybody, uh, yeah. all right? So just make sure that you work on your platform. Please try to look at the uh, videos on the platform before you come to class. So you have an idea what Jessica is gonna be talking about, all right? I do talk about the same topic, all right? I don't, you, it's not that you're gonna see something different from my class and the one in the video or the platform itself. It's the same topic because I need to reinforce it. All right, so that's the whole idea about it, all right? So thank you so much. Nice right. meeting you guys. Thank you. Thanks. I'll see you guys thank tomorrow. You, teacher. Bye. Thank you, nice teacher. Meeting you. Bye. Bye. Nice well. to see you guys. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye.